Repeaters are essential weapons within Red Dead Online, and today we are going to be ranking them from worst all the way to best, highlighting the pros and cons of each, and we're also going to be talking about the use cases. There is only four repeaters available, so it should be a pretty simple breakdown. four repeaters within Red Dead Online. So as we're going through the order in which they're ranked, I'm going to be breaking down the damage, the fire rate, the accuracy, the range, the reload, the ammo capacity, and also highlighting some of the pros and cons of each of these repeaters and the use cases for them. So firstly, the worst repeater available within Red Dead is the Litchfield repeater. This is the most expensive weapon available within this video, costing $348 or 14 gold bars. You'll also need to reach rank 18 to finally be able to unlock it. And with this weapon, it deals 65 damage, has a fire rate of 50, an accuracy of 68, a range of 5 and a reload of 65. The ammo capacity is 16, giving it an overall score of 62.6. Now there are some stats which stand out all another, of course the damage on the ledge field is pretty high compared to other repeaters. If you're able to hit those shots, it's a good chance that you're going to get some damage in. However, the fire rate is very slow at 50. This makes it the slowest fire repeater within the game. And that in itself is not a good way to advertise this weapon when it is the most expensive repeater to hold. The accuracy is also the lowest out of any of the repeaters within the game. So not only do you have a very slow fire rate, but the accuracy is also bad, which really means that damage wise it really doesn't matter yes the damage is high but if you're unable to hit those shots because of the low accuracy which comes with this weapon you dealing 65 damage on a shot that misses makes no difference and you are punished heavily for missing that shot because of that slow fire rate all in all this is a weapon that you should be avoiding you should avoid it with the cost associated with it being 348 dollars or 14 gold bars because that money is better spent elsewhere Moving from the Litchfield, next up we have the Carbine Repeater. Now this one, it costs absolutely nothing, which is definitely a massive plus. This is the first weapon available to your character the second that you complete the tutorial within Red Dead Online. It's given to you right at the beginning. So you do not need to spend money and you do not need to spend gold. It also unlocks at rank zero. As for the weapon stats, it deals 60 damage, has a fire rate of 53, an accuracy of 73, a range of 65, a reload of 73 and an ammo capacity of 7, giving it the overall score of 64.8. Much better than what we get from the Litchfield Repeater. And this is a weapon that is entirely free and gifted to you right at the beginning. For most players, they see this as a fairly average weapon to be using. It's not outstanding in any stats, but it's also not terrible. The damage is certainly enough. The fire rate could be a little bit faster, but does the job. The range isn't great, but it's better than other weapons that we've already looked at. And the accuracy does what it needs to. Quite simply, this is probably the best weapon out of all weapons available for you to use as a starter weapon. It's nothing overpowered, but it's still able to be used in a number of situations. This weapon is also fully customizable, so some statistics can actually be upgraded slightly depending on the upgrades that you actually buy into. And that does mean this is the only repeater within Red Dead Online, which has a pretty good return on investment. You don't need to pay for the weapon itself, you just need to buy into the upgrades which are available, making it the cheapest out of all the repeaters, and you're still able to use this early game. All in all, because it's free, there's not really too much to complain about. It's third place within our ranking out of the four repeaters, so it's nothing too special, but really, there's no reason to complain as it is something that you're gifted right at the beginning. Next up, in second place, we have the Evans Repeater. The Evans Repeater was not actually part of Red Dead Online from the release. It was actually brought in a few months later within February of 2019. The reason Rockstar brought this into Red Dead Online was because it was a fan favorite within Red Dead Redemption. 
as this is a weapon which is being pushed as part of a content update it means that you're able to buy it at rank one and it costs 300 dollars or 12 gold bars really not too bad you may even find yourself being in a situation where you're able to earn money quite quickly right at the beginning of red dead online and you're not too happy with the carbine repeater so you upgrade to the evans repeater i think 300 dollars is a fair price an interesting fact about this weapon is that this is actually John Marston's long arm weapon throughout the events of Red Dead Redemption. Going into weapon statistics, the Evan Repeater deals 50 damage, has a fire rate of 62, an accuracy of 74, a range of 65 and a reload of 62. It has a ridiculous ammo capacity of 26, another selling point to this repeater, giving it the overall score of 62. This does mean that this repeater is just slightly below the first repeater that we talked about within this video, the one that I put last place being the Litchfield repeater. And the reason that it is higher is because of that ammo capacity at 26. This is the only weapon within the game where if you head over to a gang hideout and you're in the right position, you can actually use Painted Black Ability Card to tag every single enemy within there and take them all out within just a matter of seconds. Of course, this is 100% easier said than done, but this is the only weapon that is actually capable of doing this. There is nothing else available, not just within repeaters, but in every other weapon category. And yes, alongside it, there is a ridiculously long reload time, but it really doesn't matter. As long as with those 26 bullets, you're able to take out the enemies that are there, you're in a pretty decent position. Not to mention that there are quite a lot of hardcore Red Dead fans that have a bit of sentimental value with this just because of the role that it played within Red Dead Redemption 1. Now, of course, that in itself is not something that'll put this as a weapon within second place of the rankings but it is something a little extra on top that some players like to think about whilst they're using it within game but of course the biggest selling point is the ridiculous bullets which are available and that does mean with the evans repeater in second place it only leaves one more this is the lancaster repeater this is by far the most popular weapon within the game, not just as repeaters, but weapons overall. It costs $253 or 10 gold bars and can be unlocked from rank 12. And really the second that you get to rank 12 and have that money, it's definitely worth buying into. The Lancaster repeater deals 55 damage, has a fire rate of 59, an accuracy of 76, a range of 65 and a reload of 70. It has a solid ammo capacity of 14, but not as big as what the Evans repeater is, but it's still fine. And that gives the Lancaster repeater an overall score of 65. What really helped the Lancaster repeater thrive within Red Dead Online was back in 2019, Rockstar pushed an update. It was an update to character movement, making it a lot quicker for you to move about whilst aiming down sight. Now this character movement was applied to every other weapon, so it's not just the Lancaster repeater, but with that change in movement mixed with the reload of 70 with the Lancaster, it made it incredibly fun for you to use. Not only did you have a good weapon in itself, but you could also dive to dodge bullets and quickly reload whilst you're running away to quickly turn back around and still deal damage to your enemies. Overall, with every single stat, none of them have a downside. It's a perfectly balanced weapon and Lancaster Repeater got an average score of 65, which is higher than any other repeater. To put it simply, it's awesome. And the second that you're able to buy into this, you're going to put yourself over everyone else who is not using this as their repeater, especially if you're coming up to other lower level players who are most likely still using their carbine. This is such a good weapon that also within a previous video that I did quite a while ago, when we start to talk about the best investments that you can make, even though the Lancaster repeater itself will not be giving you money, just because of how good of a weapon it is, whether you're going into missions as a solo player, you're teaming up with other players, or you're going into showdown series to compete against other players, it really doesn't matter what you're going to do, this weapon can carry you. And I can vouch for that because I'm not a particularly good player, especially when coming up to other types of players, and still I'm able to do well with the Lancaster Repeater. 
it really can transform your playstyle. And with all of that in mind, that is the reason why this is the ultimate repeater within Red Dead Online. We have now ranked each weapon from worst to best within Red Dead. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to so see ya.